how to create SSRS reports using FetchXML in Dynamics 365 reporting concept. As you know, SSRS, SQL Server reporting service, is a way to create report reports that can be integrated in Dynamics 365. So this session is dedicated to you know uh, to understand how to create SSRS reports uh, that can be you know uh, used using that can be developed using fetch xml queries uh, without you know sql queries now for that the first of all we have to download the you know uh, reporting extension uh, that is required uh, for uh, fetch xml uh, reports now this is the url microsoft uh, you know uh, um, uh, url from which you can download the reporting extension and uh, you can install it so this is the first step you have to do otherwise uh, you will not find the option to choose uh, to integrate fetch xml in srs report now the second thing is let's uh, move on to the visual studio uh, here we will create new ssrs report now move on to our favorite id uh, visual studio here start new project and in the new project we have many options to select but for the time being we have to select business intelligence sql server reporting project in business intelligence we have also options to create analysis services integration services but but for this tutorial we will select reporting service services and select the report server project wizard and give a name called as product uh, report and uh, click ok once you click ok it will load you for it will load uh, the report server the report server uh, project for you and it will also prompt a wizard where you can select the connection strings and you know uh, the report uh, configurations that you are going to be uh, you know built okay now click next so this is the report wizard and here it will ask you to select the you know uh, type of uh, data source you want to use if you click this drop down you will find a number of options uh, that can be used for uh, a specific data type a specific data source type but for the for our tutorial, we will have to choose Microsoft Dynamics CRM page. Now, change the name of the data source as DS Fetch XML. And for the connection string, we have to give the you know uh, online uh, or URL of the Dynamics 365 and uh, check out the credential. You have to give the credential here for for my uh, credential i have to give here so this is the online uh, dynamic 365 online um, user credential now click ok once you click ok uh, the project will try to connect the online server of microsoft dynamics 365 and once it is done click next to proceed once you click next it will try to build the uh, query the fetch xml query now uh, in the time in the time being uh, let it be uh, connect properly and in the meantime let's uh, create a sample you know uh, fetch xml that we will use uh, create the uh, just click the advanced find to generate a fetch xml
let's say I just uh, want to show the product whose name contains tab okay so here I will create the advanced find query and uh, download the fetch XML which will be used in my report again it depends on your requirement how you want to create the report uh, what should be the fetch XML but for the time being just for demonstration purpose let's say uh, the entity will be product and let's say the filter name contains tab okay now click result this result will show all the products whose name having a you know uh, name like tab now here this is the product now i will i will copy the fetch xml download the fetch xml because i want to use this fetch xml in my ssrs report now let's save as I have saved it. Let let's say the download. Close this and go to desktop where I have saved this. Now open this in Notepad. Now copy this page XML for demonstration purpose. I'm just doing this. Otherwise, you have to build your own query, page XML query, uh, using uh, any you know uh, uh, proper you know page XML builder, or you can also do advanced find same way I'm doing this. So it's taking time uh, or we can build here query builder you can uh, copy the advanced find query otherwise you can design the query here So go to desktop and open with notepad something happened okay uh, let's go to uh, google and search some sample XML. Let's see this one. Okay, so this is a you know a very simple you know um, XML query that we just want to use it. 
because this is taking time uh, i don't know somehow uh, there is some problem let's say so i have just copied the uh, you know fetch xml here and uh, press ok or press result to show the uh, result of this fetch xml as, as this is a demonstration purpose so anyhow you we can use uh, any fetch xml to check if it is running or not or it is returning data or not so this is executing and uh, we have to wait so that it will return all you know uh, return result now you can see the result is returned from my dynamics 365 environment press ok now I, I, when I, I press ok the query string will uh, con uh, will have the fetch xml that I have just entered press next to select the you know report type let's say tabular form click next I just want to add these two fields as a header and go to click next and let's say finish now give a name college account names and take this preview report so that once you click finish it will try to you know uh, preview your report uh, uh, and it will show you how the report will uh, will look like once it will be deployed in uh, dynamics 365 environment It will take some time because it is trying to you know uh, render the report and it, it is trying to preview the re result set that uh, you have passed uh, through fetch xml so it's trying to preview the result for you uh, you have to keep patience for this okay now the report is loading uh, the preview window and uh, so you have to wait for some time so till now we have learned how to you know assign fetch xml queries while creating reports and uh, how to authenticate uh, the Dynamics 365 online using user credential and the uh, service URL and how to create a ideal file using fetch xml so this is how my return result will look like now I have saved it and just just right click and rebuild the report build the report once you build the report what will happen your report creation is successful now you are ready to deploy this report in uh, in dynamics 365 system okay now go to the property window Check out the folder where the files is stored files are stored so this is the window where the files are stored so this is the ideal file that needs to be deployed uh, close this uh, visual studio for the timing because it is not required right now now i will go to dynamics 365 and go to sales and go to reports And in the report section, we will find a new button which will open up a you know a report window. And here, select the report type as existing file and browse for the file location that we have just copied. 
give the path here and select the adil file and press ok give a name college accounts of dynamics 365 and display select the display area reports area you can also uh, change the uh, you know uh, uh, display in option now i have just created it and let's save it now i can also run the report from here or we can also we can also close this and we can also select this and so this is the uh, report that we have just created now you can select this and run the report from dynamics 365 itself so you can find all the written results uh, here okay now this is how you can integrate your you know complex projects complex ssrs reports using parameters parameter you know param, dynamic parameters this is just a static report static report i have just created using fetch xml but you can also create dynamic uh, you know filters um, for this report in my next session uh, i will create a dynamic uh, you know parameterized report uh, which will help you in uh, some way while developing it's a reports and deploying in Dynamics 365 online. Uh, thank you very much. And please subscribe the uh, channel, uh, subship.com. And uh, uh, hopefully I'm expecting, uh, you know, uh, a next tutorial regarding SRS report for dynamic and uh, dynamic parameterized uh, reports. And uh, so also some other report types. Thank you.